Um, Forrest, we're going to go to you with story number six. This is coming out of um, WSVN. This is basically the uh, the Fox affiliate down here in Miami. It's Channel 7. Channel 7. Let me read the headline of the first couple graphs. Um, Surfside Planning and Zoning Board approves proposal to develop luxury condominium. If the name Surfside pops in anybody's head, that's because that's where the location was, where the tower that collapsed, nearly 100 people died. A billion dollar payout was basically made to the families of the roughly 100 people who died. Surfside, for anybody who doesn't know, is located on the barrier island in Miami-Dade County. It's located to the north of Miami Beach and to the south of Bell Harbor, as well as uh, uh, Sunny Isles Beach, which may be uh, cities that people recognize depending on uh, where you're listening to this podcast. So again, the headline, Surfside Planning and Zoning Board approves proposal to develop luxury condominium. Um, officials are moving forward a plan to construct a new condo building at the site of the Surfside collapse. Surfside Planning and Zoning Board approved the proposal by a Dubai-based developer to build luxury condominium at 88th Street and Collins Avenue. But some of the families of the victims are not happy with the plan because, they said, the proposal calls for garbage pickup site and a loading dock next to the area designated to be a permanent memorial. Uh, 98 people died when a Champlain Tower South building collapsed back in June of 2021. Um, Mr. Jones, um, uh, Forrest, uh, you know, you write about international, you've lived abroad, but you're raised in the Miami area. I'm wondering if you could give us some sort of perspective, if you kind of kind of give us both sides possibly, or, or your perspective of how you see this. We had this tower that collapsed. It was a disaster. Uh, the families were pushing for it for a memorial. Uh, this gentleman comes in out of the United Arab Emirates, buys the site, uh, outbids everybody else. In fact, I'm not even sure if there were other bidders for the site and now wants to put up a condominium. Uh, there's some concern here that uh, the garbage pickup area, the bay, is going to be located uh, in and around this memorial, which effectively be the street where everybody died. Um, wh- how do you see this for us? Well, I mean, uh, United Arab Emirates, you know, Dubai, Miami, they they come up as two real estate hubs. Um, they're they're really not that alike. Yes, they're dependent on. Um, Oh, foreign foreign direct investment, but uh, Miami's as you, as you've seen is is more lax the oversight and the reason. Um, Miami uh, has more single family homes, where Dubai is a um, more of a condo story. Uh, they're both heavy in condo, but I think the the key thing is Dubai is a, a semi autonomous emirate, um, and is backed by some way or another a ton of oil. Um, the uh, the Miami market is dependent on what goes on in Washington or Latin America, uh, you know, for its economic. So um, there's bigger cities in the region competed for it, like Sao Paulo, Mexico City. Um, Dubai has this ability to reinvent itself. It crashed in the first real estate boom. Then it came with tech. You know, there's tech research. There's medical research. There's even a place called Dubiotech, kind of a cute name for their biotech research. Uh, now they're a center of Islamic finance, uh, as you know, in the Quran, you know, the fee structure has to be different from a commission for interest. Um, and, uh, the cost of living in Dubai is probably 31 to 34 percent cheaper in Miami. Um, wow. Yeah. I mean, if you go online and just pull out, you know, you'll find a, a different um, a different set of facts. They all point to the same figure. It's much cheaper. You know, that will reflect higher salaries and all that. So uh, they're going to come in with all this money. Um, all this power um, to place with, from what I've read, has lax oversight. Uh, you know, they're they're probably going to enjoy uh, doing business here. Um, uh, for, 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 let me let, uh, let me ask you. Um, I've been to Dubai. I don't know three, four times. Yeah, the or so. Spent some time there. Uh, always in transit somewhere else. I would take some time off. I get on the subway. I I go stay in a nice uh, non-Western hotel. It's always like. I've star for like, you know, really reasonable prices. But to me, it always seemed like in Dubai and in the places and I've been to Abu Dhabi, I've been to uh, 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 Doha. It always seems like these places, they don't have the population for all the product types or the brands. So they effectively are paying companies to come and open up there. So everybody living there is going to be able to have all the creature comforts. But but like the numbers wouldn't necessarily justify, uh, you know, the brands being there. So So I guess what I'm wondering is, is there a little bit of branding? It's an international branding that might be going on here where you have a developer out of Dubai who's paying top dollar for this site 
and going ahead and trying to build a condominium in, in and around, let's call it the greater Miami Beach area? Or do you think the numbers can actually work? So is this branding? Is this like running a Coca-Cola commercial during the Super Bowl when everybody already knows what, or the World Cup? Everybody already knows who Coca-Cola is. Why do it? Or is this something where you think that, uh, you know, this might be longer term vision? Looking at it from a, uh, a perspective as an investor coming from, uh, you know, the Middle East. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, sure, there's always the branding benefit of that. But um, these guys can go much bigger than branding. I think they own um, soccer teams in the UK. Um, Saudi Arabia, golf, where I used to. Professional golf leagues in the United yeah, States. I mean, <laughs> you know, I think one tower, one tower is not going to compare on that branding effort to owning Chelsea or, or whoever. Um, golf. Um, you know what? But you know that said, I'm sure there's a branding component to it. But in that piece of real estate, uh, you know, I'm sure it makes economic sense for for what they're doing there as well. So, um, yeah, interesting, interesting. Jean or Mr. Fackler, either of you have an opinion about this move um, by an international developer coming from Dubai, which is a condo development hub, and coming here and actually playing in the uh, Miami and South Florida area? I think it's just an opportunistic move. I mean, nothing more than that. Yeah. Um, I mean, there is, there are, there are uh, nonstop flights uh, from South Florida to Dubai now. So, uh, I mean, that does, that does bring in uh, uh, some people, I think. That's a good point. I agree with Jean, very, very opportunistic. Interesting, interesting.